Right, Ben Henley is next. Keep it going and make some noise for Ben Henley. Thanks, fans. So, uh, I work in IT, obviously. What was Jade saying? Chubby, awkward, bearded man. Thanks, Jade. She's in the green room. Uh, listen to this, by the way. Um, so I work at IT, and a lot of people are worried about uh, computers and robots getting smarter than humans and taking over, right? Um, and already, there's, there's things that machines can do better than any human, like playing chess. Now, my attitude is, if a machine can do it better than me, I just stop doing it. <laughs> That's why I stopped playing chess. I stopped doing dishes. <laughs> and I stopped trying to satisfy a woman sexually. Because there's machines that can do all those things far better than I can do, right? Um, I say embrace the labor-saving technology and just, you know, save some time. Um, I think, you know, I prefer to focus on the things that only a human can do, like writing jokes or knowing which picture has a traffic light in it. <laughs> you know, the things that make us uniquely human. Uh, define the core of our humanity, <laughs> if you will. Um, so yeah, I like technology, but it can uh, be pretty crazy. Uh, have you bought a vibrator recently, madam? <laughs> that's, that, that's too, I'm focusing too much on you. Hands up if you bought a vibrator recently, right? Okay, I bought a vibrator, a vibrator recently. Not, not for my own use, uh, to pleasure my girlfriend with, because I'm a very skilled, I'm a very skilled and generous lover. <laughs> kind of, kind of rude. To, thanks for the cheers. A mixture of laughter and quite rude to laugh at that, uh, and some cheers. Thank you. Um, and uh, you know, vibrator technology's got too complicated. Uh, there's too many modes now, right? What I want is like weak, middle, strong. <laughs> then you press the button again, and now it's like. Uh, Pulse mode, weak, strong, weak, strong. Like, why, why don't I can just, I don't need that. I can just move it on and off the, the target area. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I, I called the clitoris uh, the target area. That, that's like uh, Jeffrey Dahmer would, would say. Well, not, not Dahmer, Bundy, you know, a, a straight serial killer. Um, but anyway, look. Uh, yeah, and there's, and there's too many modes. There's more modes. There's a mode that like it gets stronger or weaker depending on the price of Bitcoin. I swear, I swear. There's a mode that just spells out SOS. Duh, 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 duh. What's the point of that? Okay, I guess right. I guess if I was having sex and there was an earthquake and the building collapsed and I'm pinned in the rubble. Uh, with a vibrator still in my hand. And I've watched the life, you know, fade out of my girlfriend's eyes or whatever. Um, and my larynx is crushed, but I hear the rescue team tuck coming. And then, the SOS mode, that might be useful. Um, hasn't happened yet. So, uh, I identify as bisexual. I'm not. I'm not. But I need something, right? In today's climate, otherwise it's just a cis, white, straight, middle-aged man talking about vibrators. It's not very marketable. Um, so I identify as, as bisexual on certain application forms. But it, it's not a lie. It's not a lie, right? I have sucked one dick. Um, but, you know, it was like over 20 years ago. So, is it like a driving license? Do I have to renew it every 10 years? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I went to a, you know, a posh all-boys school. Uh, so I got some, you know, some chances to have experiences I wouldn't have had in the private sector, where, where there are girls. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, I'm very privileged is what I'm saying. Uh, it was uh, um, a great honor to do that. Um, Powering for time. So, um, have you, another technology thing I love. Do you guys, have you heard of Amazon Fresh? 
I'm sorry, it's a, it's a super, right, so if you don't know what it is, it's a supermarket, it's made by Amazon, and it's totally automated. So if you want to go in, you um, sign in with an app, and you take what you want, and then you walk out. There's no cashier, um, no tills or anything like that. And they know what you took, right? They're tracking you with the app. Uh, the nearest one of these is in Wembley, by the way. If you want to, if you want to try it, just go down to Wembley. Um, but the thing is, right, my question is, well, okay, they're tracking you with your phone. How do they know exactly what, they, what you took? Right? How, do you know, how do they know if you took, like, two bananas or three bananas? Uh, or in my case, you know, more bananas than that. <laughs> and it turns out um, there are sensors in the shelves, like, like scales, right? It knows how much stuff weighs, and it, it tells. So if you think about it, Amazon Fresh is not so much a supermarket as a chance to trade something of equal weight with Jeff Bezos, right? If you're quick. If you're quick, it's like that bit in Indiana Jones, you know, where he's going to swap the golden idol for a bag of sand. Um, so you can get some great deals on Amazon Fresh. I got a tuna baguette for a child's shoe <laughs> that I found on the street. Nothing, nothing, nothing weird happened. Um, I got a gourmet ready meal for a copy of the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Same weight. You can get a really good bottle of wine or a really ba bad bottle of wine. <laughs> uh, or, or a wine bottle full of piss, to be honest. That works too. Um, now, some people say, Ben, what you're doing is shoplifting. Now, I think, no. Like, if Jeff Bezos is a clever man, right? He wouldn't let the system let me do that unless it was, it was part of the plan, right? Because the thing is, right, I got that copy of the Da Vinci Code from Amazon in the first place. So I think of it as more of a generous returns policy. I think it's, a, I think it's included in my Amazon Prime membership, I think. Um, so, speaking of, uh, Adrian was talking about choking, being fashionable. Uh, my girlfriend likes to be choked during sex. And she's asking me, hey, it's her idea. I know, I know, but it's her idea. And she's asking me to choke her harder and for longer. And I asked her, why do you like that? What's in that for you? Uh, and she said, it's just nice to see my granddad again. <laughs> you know, beckoning her into the light. Um, and maybe it's fragile masculinity or something, but I feel kind of threatened that her dead granddad is part of our sexual relationship. <laughs> Because, um, you know, how, am I, how can I compete with that? How, I'll never have the same bond with, with her that he did, right? Because that's the guy she lost her virginity to. Uh, you know, her, her first love. Her childhood sweetheart, if you will. Uh, okay, I think I'll take you guys about as far as... Uh, you're going to go tonight. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. My name's Ben Henley. Thanks very much.